Okay, right, on to the last of our blend modes, uh, Alpha Holdout. Uh, this isn't one I've ever actually used, um, commonly used in UI. Um, what Alpha Holdout does is it doesn't affect the material that's currently being rendered, but rather makes holes in the opacity of the material behind. So in this case, we've just got a red, uh, red channel of this texture, which is this here, um, plugged into our Alpha Holdout. Um, and if we have a look in the world, you can see the material behind here is just a translucent plane, and then the alpha holdout is knocking through that uh, to create shapes. Uh, if I make a copy of this plane and put the holdout material on it, well, it's quite a strong alpha on it. Let's try a different alpha. Let's try the green channel. What we should see is this. So we're using the alpha holdout material in front to knock out the alpha of the translucent sort of smoky material behind. So it's two separate shaders. Um, as I say, not something I've used very much in environment work. Um, probably a bit more useful for UI elements. Um, I believe that is actually the tooltip it says somewhere. Um, but could be useful for certain things. I mean, making bullet holes in glass, that could work out quite nicely where you uh, have translucent glass and make holes in it. Um, there are some errors with things like clipping. So if I move this plane across, at some point it renders behind the other one and the whole thing pops away. Uh, there is a sort option. Um, translucent sort priority. Anytime you're using translucency, I mentioned in the translucent um, videos, that translucent objects are expensive because they have to be sorted. Well, you can manually fix that by telling it always sort this one in front. So now it will always render in front. Um, and that will fix that popping issue. But as I say, not one that comes up all the time, but quite a nice, useful one to have there. Um, alpha holdout, knocking out the, uh, the thing behind. So that covers all of the different material types. Um, sorry, blend modes, they're called. Um, yes, blend mode, so uh, opaque for most things, masked when you want to have a hard edge, but some transparency, so a cutout, um, did a fading to approximate to translucency with masked, it sort of works. Uh, translucent itself, nice and cheap, um, grayscale translucency, per vertex to be even cheaper, um, and translucent surface when we want expensive shaders. Um, but nice, nice reflections. Um, often approximated using cube maps and things like that, rather than translucency. And we'll cover that in a future video as well. Uh, refraction for bending light and giving us this frosted glass effect. Uh, modulate for stains. I've missed additive. Here we are additive for glowing materials. Uh, modulate for things like stains and then alpha composite, which is a, a combination of both additive and translucent together. And then finally, alpha holdout. Uh, okay, that's everything for this section. And then the next section, we'll be having a look at the different shading models. So uh, lit, unlit, skin, etc. All of that. Um, cool.